Hello once again Star Wars and Unboxing fans, welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host Darth Tuba with some more Entertainment Earth and Target and even some uh, what I think is, I think it's GameStop. So we're going to just dive right into these because frankly there's just been so many things coming all at once that I'm kind of like, ah. alright, so we'll see how we do. But, um, like we said in pl past episodes, just the, the pre-orders have been shipping fast and furious. It's just been absolutely crazy. It's an interesting box, different than what they've normally been doing. Um, it's really just a Black Series figure in a box. No padding, no nothing. So, uh, I guess in a way that's good. But in another way, that's kind of like, hmm, that's strange. So this is a Gaming Greats Star Wars Republic Commando. RC1207 or SEV. Okay. Uh, Republic Commando follows Delta Squad on missions throughout the Clone Wars with Delta 07 or Delta 7 or SEV as the squad's leader. Um, a pretty cool figure. I like the paint scheme. I'm getting a little bit, uh, as I mentioned on previous episodes, I'm starting to get to the point now where I think I'm, I might be putting a moratorium on uh, clones. Uh, just because, or troopers, because there's just so many troopers. I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at. I can't show it to you off to the site here, but I have about 15 figures that are still in the package, not figures necessarily that have this artwork on it. So what I was thinking about doing is the ones I decide not to open. I'm just going to kind of make my own little mural of the. They won't be together. They'll just be murals of the characters, like randomly set up for now. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm starting to think about. Um, pulling back on the Black Series. So they're great figures. I mean, if you love Black Series, if you're a big fan of Republic Commando, I'm not a gamer, so I think that's part of it. Well, I'm kind of... Plus, the other thing is that VC, Vintage Collection, is also doing gaming greats now, and I and they're part of the collection. They're part of the, the numbered system, so I'm probably going to just stick with that. Um, so, again, great figure. Um, normally, I'd open it. It's got uh, just his backpack and his blaster rifle. So if it, if it doesn't have multiple pieces or anything, I usually do um, open it up. But in this case, I'm going to keep some of these um, packaged for now. That could change later on. So we will see. All right. So Target. What do we got from Target? Let's see. Uh, it's been a... Some of the Obi-Wan and a lot of the Boba Fett stuff has been coming. I don't usually buy from Target unless it's an exclusive. So, oh, we got another Black Series. Ah, uh, yes. And I, in, fact, I, in fact, actually saw this in the wild. We have the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, Tika Jawa, which is a great, a phenomenal character that uh, had a really great interaction with Obi-Wan in that first, I'm sorry, Ben, in that first, um, first episode. So, again, he comes with, or let's just say, Obi-Wan Kenobi is set years after the dramatic events of Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, where Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker turned Sith Lord Darth Vader. So, if there, there's a scene, it's so funny, it's just one cave scene where uh, Obi-Wan is basically uh, working on a business transaction with Tika. So, but that's kind of cool. Um, it's a great looking figure. It's got some soft good... Um, Actually, no, I'm, I'm lying about that. It's basically got um, kind of a, a soft vinyl um, cape with a, another soft vinyl, different, slightly different colored vest, along with his uh, little bandolier strap or his, whatever you call it, his little belt strap. Then he's got his box that he carries along with like what looks like a, an, a cup or an oven or something, and his blaster. So I'm going to leave this one in the package as well. Um, you know, and that's what I mean. Like, I'll line these guys up like this, even though they're not together. I'll line them up like that just to kind of show, you know, some imagery. Uh, yeah, I'm already planning on uh, looking at some of those figures. A lot of those figures are like first release or or those um, carbonized figures that I didn't take out of the package. I think I'm getting ready to um, say goodbye to some of them to make room for other ones. So now we have two Entertainment Earth. And 
last episode, we were wondering if they're going to start opening up more than one to a package. But it looks like we are still... Oh, this has been a Black Series kind of day. Holy cow. Oh, yes. Black Kersantan. But not the Black Kersantan that we all have grown to know and love. No, this is the Black Kersantan from the comics. Uh, let me see if I have a right up here. The ferocious and skilled Wookiee gladiator turned bounty hunter, Black Kersantan has worked for the likes of Jabba the Hutt and Darth Vader. So this is the um, this is the comic book version. I wish I could do this better without so much glare. That's a little better. There's the comic book version of him, right? It's cool, but I remember when they announced this figure, we were all like, woohoo, Black Kersantan from Boba Fett, and it was the comic version, which is fine. I'm sure we'll get eventually the live action version, which is similar. It's just not quite. So obviously they probably just used most of a Wookiee Chewbacca mold with some added parts. Uh, I do enjoy this packaging, uh, the, the whole comic book aspect of the packaging, okay, where you, open, where you have the comic book look on the front, back, side, and even a little bit on the inside cover. So that's kind of cool. So that'll also stay here. All right. And lastly, on this episode, this is a short episode, I know. You know why? Because I'm not opening them up. I'm only, I'm only leaving them in the package. So well, maybe, you'll see. maybe I'll do one unboxing one full out unboxing and yes I will this one will get unboxed Be oh wait no I can't oh no I can't oh but it's so cool oh I don't know should I shouldn't I you know what I'll do all right I'm gonna split the difference I am going to unbox this one but I'll keep the box okay figuring Dan and the modal nodes now those who know this, those who don't know me or know the channel, know that there's a reason I'm called Darth Tuba, okay? I am a musician and music educator by my day job, and uh, this, this, this small little YouTube channel is really a hobby, as I've mentioned, not something I'm trying to uh, build up more than just something to get as many people interested in, you know, positive Star Wars collecting as possible. So my favorite characters in the Star Wars universe, of course, are going to be the musicians because you know I they're they're I relate to them I see who they are what they're doing the kind of attitudes that they have so figuring Dan is one of the um, was the rocking frontman of the all Bith band the modal nodes his deft playing of the clue horn for the band earned him the nickname fiery figurin now there is a great and I've said this on previous episodes there is a great a short story and it was I think um, from the from a short story collection of book or a collection of short stories called Tales from Moss Eisley Cantina it's now considered legendary it's not fully canon anymore but it but it does tell a great story it's called we don't do weddings the band's tale and it tells this whole story about figuring Dan and the modal nodes and how they used to work for Jabba and then they ended up um, getting a gig to play for this wedding, which they ultimately didn't want to do, but they were paying them too much. And it, and, and it just got all out of hand and wacky. And they ended up having to escape. You know, they didn't, they ended up having to escape the thing because it, it was a raid on it. And go, listen, read the book. It's very short. You can actually get an audio drama of it. That's actually pretty well done. So, um, you know, it's almost like the Star Wars radio drama where there's actual things. Now, this, of course, he comes with three different instruments. And the reason for this is that Figurin Dan and the Modal Nose pretty much all dress the same, and they all are the same creature, b b the uh, species of Bith. So you don't have to buy, um, you don't have to, they're not gonna make three different types of figures. So you basically can buy this figure three times, and you'll get the three, the three figures, and you just give one each of the instruments, and then hold the other two. So I will take out one instrument today, the instrument I'm going to take out. Let's see. Well, seeing as how I'm Darth Tuba, they don't have a tuba in this. So, um, but I'm going to say this one looks. I forget if that's the clue, if that's the clue horn or not. Um, I don't know which one is an actual clue horn versus the fizz 
or the Omnibox, or the clue, or the, the oh, I can't remember the other instruments. Looks like he plays this one, so I'll, I'm going to call this in the picture. Kind of looks like for for those musicians in the room. Um, looks like a uh, a uh, bassoon. So we will see if I can get this in. The one <laughs> one of the only characters to not have a weapon, but instead he has his instrument. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get... I don't know if the thing fits in his mouth. Well, I guess it sort of does. There we go. There he is. Everybody says, you only play one song. That's like a Family Guy joke because they always play the same song. But that is not true. That is not true. They actually play two songs. There's a... And you can find... If you look up on YouTube or whatever, Cantina Band number two, that's the more swingy one that goes... Dun, 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 dun. Okay? So there's two songs. They have a repertoire of two. And if you've been to Galaxy's Edge um, Ogus Cantina, DJ Rex plays a third song that they've played. They didn't play it in the movie, they just played it for Galaxy's Edge. But so right now they have a and and, and if you watch the We Don't Do Weddings, there's about six other songs that they play. So they have a, a repertoire, not just one song. So there he goes. All right. So am I going to get the other ones? There are, I believe, six in the Modal Node band. There's Modal Nodes. There's, there's, um, I think I know their names too. There's Doik Nod. There's Tetan, Ichabel, uh, Tedden, Figurin Dan. I can't read that. That's five. I think there is a sixth. Maybe it's Barkwind Dan. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, I know there's at least five. But I don't know. We'll see. If I if I if I run into it in the wild, if I see them in the wild, I will pick them up. Now you'll notice that they only come with three instruments. That's because there's a deluxe figure coming out as well. That who knows? It might be in one of these other boxes. Um, that is going to include some of the bigger instruments. There's one or two larger instruments. Like there's, like there's one that's like essentially like the drum set, and one that's like essentially like a keyboard um, that they are bigger so they're going to call that part of the deluxe set probably the same sculpt figure but then you can buy like one or two of those and do them up so we'll see but this guy I had to get one of them to take out so and of course this his whole face i believe was a rick baker design and it was actually designed for some other things you might even find this in another b movie somewhere because it really looks just very alien you know all right so we ended up having like a normal episode of uh you know normal 10 to 15 minute range episode, which is what I like. So that'll do it for this episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, do all that stuff, and let people know about the channel. Just want anybody to, who's interested in positive Star Wars collecting to spread the word to other people so that more people can watch the channel. Leave comments. I uh, always love interacting with anybody who wants to. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, may the Force and the toys and the musicians be with you.